Hey guys, so today we are creating Frosty the Snowman's son, Franklin. Franklin, Franklin. Franklin is a second generation, magical, come to life, punk rock snowman. I think he's extremely cute. I love his icicle mohawk and those Doc Martens are looking so good. So let's get started. My name is JK and if you or someone you love is suffering from mesothelioma, you have the right to compensate. That mesothelioma commercial is everywhere during the day. Now Franklin is Frosty the Snowman's son. That makes him second generation magical come to life snowman. Which means he doesn't need the hat to come to life. The magic is within him. Now throughout this video, I'm going to be telling the story of how Franklin the Snowman met his best friend Toasty the Smordog. So let's get started. Let's create this cake. The first thing I did was build my PVC pipe cake board structure. I drilled a hole into the middle of a 10 inch cake board using an electric drill and then I hot glued a PVC pipe into the middle. Once the glue dried, it was ready for my cakes. To create Franklin's body, I'm using a four inch half dome cake. I'm using a vanilla cake that I dyed baby blue because of snow and water and snowman. I just placed my PVC pipe in the middle and then added some buttercream. I'm just gonna smoothen it out with my offset spatula and add the second four inch half dome cake on top. And that completes Franklin's body. Now usually snowmen have like a large snowball as the bottom of the body. And the middle section is the medium size and the head is like the smallest snowball. But I wanted him to look like a really super cute little tiny snowman so I decided to make his head larger. And there's only two parts instead of three. Now because his head is larger I had to add a support system. And I'm just using a pipe coupler and hammering it into place with my spatula. I wanted to increase the area of support around the PVC pipe, so I'm adding two pieces of cardboard and then a six inch half dome cake. And if you can see, I carved away a little bit of the bottom so that it would sit flat on the cardboard. And then just carving away some of the caramelization. Now Franklin grew up in Alaska and he was very lonely. He tried to make friends with people, but Americans, you know, they are afraid of things that they don't understand and so nobody wanted to be his friend. Back to the cake. I am gonna add a second support system with a pipe coupler and some more cardboard. I just wanted to make sure that it was extremely stable. I wanted to make sure that it could hold all of the weight of the cake. I got really scared because the head is, it's really big. That's what she I'm gonna add some buttercream into the middle and then I cut my PVC pipe down. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't pop out at the top of Franklin's head. One night, Franklin was wandering through the forest and he stumbled upon a group of very chill, Coachella, hippie, hipsterish looking people sitting around a campy fire. Campy fire? <laughs> a campfire making s'mores and singing songs. Franklin saw them and thought to himself, yo, all right. They could be my friends. Now he made his way to the campfire while the hippie, hipster, Coachella people were listening to this bearded man with a man bun play uh, indie nonsense on his guitar. And I added my second half dome cake. Then I gave this baby a crumb coat. I placed this cake into the fridge for about two and a half hours, three hours, I think. I was watching the first Lord of the Rings movie. It was pretty good. I love that movie. And when you watch The Fellowship of the Ring, for me anyways, it automatically means that I'm gonna be watching The Two Towers within the next two days, and then The Return of the King, probably the day after, because you have to watch all of them. You can't just stop after The Fellowship of the Ring. That's 10 hours total, right? And that's probably a good, six or seven hours of Orlando Bloom. I'm not mad at that. It's a great movie, they're all great movies. The Hobbit ones, eh, I don't know. If you haven't seen it, 
There was a cultural phenomenon. I don't know what's wrong with you. You should have seen it. Let's get back to the cake. Now, after I took my cake out of the fridge, I gave it another coat of buttercream. And this was a complete second coat of buttercream. Usually, I only put a crumb coat, and that's because I cover my cake in like a million pounds of fondant. But I wasn't going to do that with this cake. So I made sure it was a complete coat, and you couldn't see any of the caramelization from the cake. When Franklin got close enough, he jumped next to the Mr. Man Bun guitar guy and shouted with glee, I would like to be your friend. Now the Americans, but the Americans being super American, you guys, they feared what they didn't understand. They jumped out of their seats, dropped their s'mores all over the place and ran off into the woods. Super American, like Super American. <laughs> Why are we so scared of the unknown? He was just a snowman. Calm down. Come on, guys. I wanted this snowman cake to have tons of texture. So I decided that the final layer of decoration for the cake would be coconut shavings. I added coconut shavings over the buttercream and just covered all of Franklin's head and body. It looks so much more like a snowball. Now I did add white food coloring to my coconut shavings because I wanted it to be an extremely bright white and not that translucent white that coconut shavings are. You don't have to do that. I mean, most people don't even know that white food coloring exists and it's extremely expensive by the way. <laughs> so you don't have to do it, but I don't think your cake will look as bomb as mine. And I actually decided that I was gonna play Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers in the background while I was working on all of Franklin's like arms and like all of his facial details. And I created all of this stuff with fondant. Now first I created Franklin's twig arms. I just rolled some brown fondant out into to a log and then added some smaller pieces to be his twig branches or fingers or he just has like one finger can he grip anything probably not oh that's sad now to hold this up on my cake i inserted a toothpick into the middle of my log and then i gave him a studded bracelet yo i think the mohawk is the most punk rock thing about him but he needed some accessories now franklin just stood there alone, looking down at his Doc Martens, and he saw all of the s'mores littering the uh, snow, snowy ground. And he realized that he had never had a s'more before. So he picked up all the different pieces and put together his first s'more. So a graham cracker, a piece of chocolate, some salted caramel, oh, then the marshmallow, and uh, how about a little more chocolate and then the graham cracker? Oh god, those that's not a s'more. Why is that not what a s'more is? Yo, I'm gonna make that tonight. Never mind, he put together a traditional s'more. So a graham cracker, some chocolate, a toasted marshmallow, and another graham cracker. As soon as the toasted marshmallow started to melt, the chocolate, oh gosh, I'm having like flashbacks, this looks so good. Put the s'more up to his face opened his mouth and then stopped. It made him sad that he was eating this alone and not able to enjoy it with friends. How sad is that? <laughs> That's terrible. This is the best thing in the world and you're experiencing it alone? Oh my God, why did I write this story? It's terrible. Now I plunged my toothpick into Franklin's body and then I added some black pieces of fondant to give him some coal buttons. And in the community tab, I asked you if Franklin should be wearing yellow high top chucks or burgundy the blah, 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 blah. burgundy Doc Martens. My mouth stopped working. So I cut some burgundy fondant into two equal sizes and I just created a shoe shape using my hands. I cut away the extra fondant and rolled out some black fondant to place underneath the burgundy to create the soles of the Doc Martens shoe. I cut the black fondant to be the right size of the shoe and then used some fondant tools to add some details. Now I'm gonna stick my shoes on the bottom of Franklin's body. He just full sitting in the snow. And then I moved on to his spikes. Now I rolled out some blue fondant into a cone shape and then I added some detail using some fondant tools to I wanted to make these cones look like shards of ice. I just cut these shards into different sizes. I wanted the longest shard to be in the middle of the mohawk and the shortest shards would be at the front and the back of the mohawk. And the shards in between would just progressively get bigger and smaller. 
And to attach them to his head, I just inserted a toothpick to hold them in place. For his nose, I created another cone shape, and I just gave it some texture using my paring knife to look like a carrot. Now for his eyes, I'm using like, oh, I like that, a striking blue. It's kind of like a blue-green, but there's more blue in it than green. Aruba Blue? I should have done that. That's a way better name than striking. You guys, some of these names are trash. You need to work on them. And I rolled out some striking blue fondant, and then I just cut out two circles using a round cookie cutter. Placed his nose at the front of his face, as you would when you're creating a face. And then I used a ball fondant tool to create some crevices for his eyes. And then went his striking blue eyeballs. Now I'm gonna give him a crooked smile made of coal and attach two catch lights. Franklin wished that he had someone to share this moment with and because he didn't, he dropped the s'more onto the ground and he started to cry. A single tear rolled down his snowman face and onto the s'more that he had just dropped. Then something magical happened. Now to finish my cake off, I sprinkled some more coconut shavings onto the cake board so he looks like he's sitting on some freshly fallen snow. Through Franklin's tear, the magic that brought Frosty and Franklin to life was now bringing the s'more to life. Bottom graham cracker spouted some doggy paws, the marshmallow started to create a snout, and the top graham cracker created two ears. Boom! the first ever s'more dog was brought into the world. The s'more dog leaped onto Franklin, licking his face, and Franklin proclaimed, I shall call you Toasty, and you will be my Toasty forever and forever and for always. And that is how Franklin the snowman met his best friend in the entire world, Toasty the s'more dog. Voila, you guys. Look, Franklin the snowman is complete. Oh man, I love the Doc Martens, they look so bomb. The studded bracelet is nice, but I think this mohawk makes this cake. It's everything. Wasn't that a good story? Oh, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> I love the design of Franklin and Toasty, and I should because I created them. If you want to see me create Toasty the S'more Dog, there is a link for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. There are also links for my entire Christmas playlist so you can watch all of my Christmas content. And this is one of many holiday cakes I will be creating this December, so make sure you subscribe so you can see all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're ready for the holiday because I'm really excited. I love you. I will see you soon. Peace.